I uh, just go ahead and smack the Julia is now uh, atomizing the frozen water in order to greater uh, distribute the ice and the salt in the solution, the cryo solution as we call it. With the crushed ice now in the bucket, I am about to add the salt, the sodium chloride, uh, to the solution. Uh, we're going to be doing a ratio of roughly uh, 1 to 5 salt to ice, which, since we are using 2 gallons of, of ice, we're going to be doing a little more than 6 cups of salt. We're using a combination of kosher salt and regular old granulated salt. Because the, uh, the engine for the Cryobev 3000 is a centrifugal uh, DC 12 volt water pump. It will not actually start pumping water unless it has water in its system already. So I'm going to have to orally kickstart the cryo that we have to the priming pump right here. It's currently locked in the on position. For the sake of scientific accuracy, I have to say that uh, it took about half an hour to get the damn thing started. So we've, we drank the first set of beers, or we're in the process of drinking the first set of beers, and now we're doing a second set of beers. In this case, uh, both the experimental and the control beer will be a Leinenkugel 1888 box, which is a special seasonal variety of Leinenkugels made in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, and distributed by Miller. Still 40. Still 40? Um, looking here, you may be able to see that the output of the cooling coil, which leads to... Well, it's kind of in the shadow. But the output is going steadily. I increased the vault, or the, uh, the voltage, in fact. There is actual frost on the cooling coils after just a few minutes of working correctly. Now we'll see if we can transfer that cooling power into a Kugel's 1888 box. Inside the coils, um, but just a moment ago as I was handling the coils, they were shaking like a rattlesnake from the sheer force of frozen fluids jangling through them or something.